Hey guys, I wanted to come to you guys today to discuss about hydroquinone. Um, I think in the, my past video, I did a whole video on cystamine. So now I want to do a whole video on hydroquinone as an ingredient. Um, currently, I have 2% hydroquinone in this product called PCA Pigment Gel. So far, I've been liking it, but I just wanted to discuss in depth on hydroquinone as a whole in general for treating hyperpigmentation and any other issues one may have. I do have some lingering hyperpigmentation, but they are slowly going away, which is great. And they've been going away very quickly with the method I have found in using hydroquinone, which I mentioned in the end. So currently, um, hydroquinone is a gold standard when it comes to treating hyperpigmentation, especially for women of color because treating brown spots or dark spots on women of color can be especially uh, like it can be a heavy task to treat and some of the other ingredients which are listed in treating hyperpigmentation might not be as efficacious on women of color and for women of color who have had lingering dark spots for like more than two years, three years and just are trying to get rid of it. So the way to, um, hydroquinone works is that it inhibits the enzyme called tyrosinase um, from going through the process of dopa um, and which causes a depigmentation of the melanin sites in that area. The reason why hydroquinone has, a, um, has gotten a bad rep is because of two reasons. One being that um, it is an ingredient that um, was tested on rats at a very high dosage and it was found to be carcinogenic. Um, some some countries such as UK and Europe, Japan and Australia, I think have actually banned this ingredient, but I'm not completely sure because I have seen people use it in those countries, in those locations, but they have banned this ingredient um, from being used. So you're not going to find it over the counter in these, in these countries. So um, again, this was a study done on rats. It was done at high dosage, even dosages that human beings would never ever use. Um, so a lot of that perspective is only going to come through th that angle. Another um, thing is because in countries like Nigeria, people do use it at a very, very high level. We're talking about 20%, 10%, 8%, which is not regulated. 4% is the maximum cap when it comes to hydroquinone. So anything more than that can cause a lot of damage to your skin and can cause issues like acrinosis, which is a blue pigmentate, blue black pigmentation on the skin. I'll show a picture right here. So those are the reason why it gets a bad rap. And also people in those countries are using it to do a complete lightening on the skin. They're not looking forward to treat issues like melasma or hyperpigmentation. So that's where hyperpigmentation, I mean like hydroquinone gets the bad rap when it comes to treating pigmentation. So there was a formula called Klingman formula which included tretinoin, hydroquinone, and corticosteroid and it was used for years but that can be very irritating over time um, so a lot of people have looked at other ways to um, get the same results but without the heavy irritation. There is a formula called Triluma. Uh, I think it's a tretinoin and hydroquinone formula put together and it's pretty expensive but sometimes insurance can cover that formula but the way I began to use it which I will mention today is that um, I'm going to be using hydroquinone in this 2% PCA pigment gel on my specific dark spots with a q-tip I'm not doing it anywhere else just where my skin needs it that is very very important I'm using this product for three months 90 days off where I'll use alternatives but I'm using this product for three months um, to get some form of result and then stop using it for 90 days and come back to it and the way I use it at night is I apply with a q-tip take my red A and apply it over my face I use this both morning and night but very very sparingly I'm applying a thin layer on where I need it and that's very important so um, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to hydroquinone do ask your questions if you have any when it comes to this ingredient and I'll be happy to answer them so bye for now